Uh, we had, of course, the big election at the U in the U.S. And I think a lot of people let me know, are you in shock? Are you surprised? Are you delighted? Are you terrified? <laughs> let me know down below. I know a lot of people are, of course, feeling a wide range of emotions, right? And this is the interesting thing about human consciousness is that you're going to feel all sorts of different things around a situation that might be basically neutral to some, great to others, terrible to others, right? And we all have this consciousness perspective based on what we come, where we come from, right? Where we come from in our awareness. And so let me know, where are you at with that? How are you feeling? And certainly if there is a place where you're coming from maybe what feels like an imbalance, we can actually work with that today with Virginia Rounds and kind of rebalance, rebalance to this divine neural restoration to release hidden forces that might be making you feel one way or the other, right? That isn't in your divine state. One of the things I've realized over and over again throughout life and throughout this journey um, is that balance and this holistic thinking on everything is the only way forward, is the only way forward. I remember in 2016, um, I was in a group that was filled with a lot of kind of spiritual people and uh, the election didn't go the way they wanted. They wanted uh, Hillary Clinton to win. And I remember everybody was like crying and there was all of this energy and I really felt for them, but I didn't really understand why they weren't angry that at the time, Bernie Sanders was not allowed to actually get the nomination. It was kind of like taken from out from under him. And I thought, you know, what, what, what happened with that? And I remember saying to them, I was like, well, here's something that happened, right? You had the outsider person able to come in and win the election from quote unquote, the establishment 2016 at the time. And I said, maybe if that continues somebody that you like more than this current person, like a Bernie Sanders at the time, that was who they liked, would be able to also one day win. And I, and I thought of it as like, how do we see whatever's going on as a win-win for humanity? Now, I'm not saying that it would be if that person, I'm not worried about the names, because in many respects, in consciousness, a lot of this is interchangeable. It's not that this one person or that person you know, at the time might be better. We don't know what timeline all of this could go, but it was a consciousness exercise to say, how can we see whatever happens around us as a benefit? Does that make sense to everyone? Let me know if you kind of align to that. And what was interesting was these very conscious beings could not see it because they had made one person the savior and the other person the devil. And it was so pervasive that they couldn't shift their consciousness. And one of my uh, teachers, you know, years ago, Dr. Johnny e. Martini would say, whenever you put one person on the pedestal and another person in the pit, you lose that whole brain balance. You lose that discernment. And we know that our heart line is this center point, this midline along our body, our spinal cord associated with this heart line. And through that, what do we get to we get to the crown we get to this center point of energy and this energy actually goes up through the top of our head through our crown that's where our soul leaves the body when we die and this energy goes into the higher self into this divine essence of what we are so when we begin to get into these distortions and we begin to see things as unbalanced then we get further and further away from our holistic self from our true self. So, you know, we may look at things and say, oh, this is really good. This is really not good. Of course, I do that as well. But at the end of the day, the place of true power is not even in celebrating, even though I might be happy or sad or whatever about whatever's going on, but in the place of balance and seeing that everything is, and there's good and there's challenge and there's love and there's disruption and there's order and there's chaos and there's great possibilities and challenges and all of that is present as timelines in your life no matter what's going on right no matter who becomes president you know i remember in 28 2008 
A lot of people loved Barack Obama. You know, that's fine. And I remember I was married at the time. My father-in-law was at the time, not anymore, uh, called me. You know, he's like really upset. And I just said, well, you know, it just is, right? It's like, you, you're going to have to figure out how to maximize whatever you're doing, whether you like the person or not. And for him, he couldn't, couldn't do that. He just felt like it was not good. And I was like, well, I'm just going to keep going and follow my own heart because my own divine essence has multiple timelines where I succeed, no matter what's going on, right? And of course, we had the financial collapse at that time. And I ended up, finding my own way, starting an additional company and, and being very successful that year. And that opened up huge doorways for a lot of other things. So it really is dependent on us. So, you know, as we lose that balance, then we absolutely will give control, the best part of ourselves over to someone else. Does that make sense? Anyone let me know what you think about that. Um, I see, I see some interesting possibilities, you know, in the world. I see a couple things very interesting. I see the mainstream media uh, absolutely uh, is losing power over humanity. I see alternative media, whether that's good or bad, but we are alternative media now. We are the media. Uh, all of us that are talking about these ideas and energy, uh, all of it, we are the media. We are the collective communication vessel for humanity. The things we're talking about now are things that will be potentially the mainstream, because as things get less centralized and as people have more voices and as alternative channels come into form, your desires, your heart, your vision, the things you want to create are going to find an ear. They're going to find a place to call home. If everything was centralized and everything was controlled and you know, a channel on the television or cable news said, this must be true and you must vote this way because a celebrity said so and Taylor Swift said, do this. And, you know, this person and that person say, do that. Then it becomes almost like our consciousness is corralled into this very limited lens, this very limited uh, space and it can't flourish. So I think one thing that's happened is we've realized that this decentralization is huge and people are making their own decisions. Now, whether we agree with them or not, it still is important that we make our own decisions for free consciousness, you know? So I think that's very interesting. I also, I also am very interested in the fact that I think that for the first time, uh, people actually are beginning to see that a broad spectrum of folks can come together and they can actually make a difference in the planet. The average person, the common person who no one is common, right? Average man and woman, the, the person on the street can come together and make a difference. And people of multiple parties can come together and like RFK Jr. can say, you know what? I'm not going to take a label. I am going to actually hold a position because I believe in something. And I think if we lose labels and we say, you know what? I, I'm, I, I believe in this and this is important to me whether I am of this persuasion or that, whether I am gay or straight, black or white, you know, Republican or Democrat, whatever, this is a principled belief. And if we come together on those beliefs as a humanity and we shed the labels, like a lot of people did, like a Tulsi Gabbard did, like an Elon Musk did, uh, like a uh, RFK Jr. did, whether you agree with it or not, or whether this is triggering to you, these people left labels. They all were, you know, assigned to one party at one point and said, you know what? I believe in something bigger than a label. I think as a humanity, if we at least can believe in something beyond the label, because the common thing that it seems like the control systems like to do, and y'all let me know uh, if you agree with this or not, it feels like the control systems. In fact, I'll be honest, the control systems, they fucking do this all the time. This is what they do, right? They, they separate us. They divide us by race, by gender, by creed by every single thing. And as they divide us, vaccinated, unvaccinated, this or that, as they divide us, they can control the hell out of us, right? Because then we're fighting amongst ourselves. We're separating ourselves. We're looking at surface level identity versus going deep into the fact that we're all human, right? You peel off the skin and there's red and <laughs> there's red stuff under there, right? So what's happened to me is I think we've all kind of unified. And what's also interesting is I, I feel like we've unified with like these common elements of, you know what? I think there's something bigger 
that we all want. And this is important, right? We want safety. We want economic security. We want the ability to, you know, raise our family. Some of us may want just the ability to be free, like freedom, this eternal value seems like on one side, wasn't really something people were feeling as much. So on the other side, people are like, Hey, these people feel more free, right? They're not trying to limit conversation. They're not trying to limit discussion. And I mean, we saw in COVID, right? I was sometimes like worried if I say something on the show, is it, am I, is my email account going to get suspended? I had friends whose PayPal accounts got shut down because they spoke out against the vaccine, right? So that whole experiment, whether you thought it was justified or noble or whatever, was a real tiptoe into tyranny. And I, I I did not like it. I spoke out against it. A lot of people did. A lot of people lost a lot of a lot of their livelihood by speaking out about it. So I think the decentralization, the release of labels, and the commonality around central ideas that are important as a humanity are really great things that we can take from this. Whether you're happy or not, I think those are very powerful things. And uh, we can no matter where you are on the spectrum, we can feel into that and say, maybe these are more important things to carry forward into the future than whether or not my favorite person won or not. So I just throw that out there because if we lose these things and we don't have the commonality, I'm afraid humanity might be in a really bad place. So um, yeah, right on. Thank you, everybody. And